Sonic fans are notorious for not being able to agree on literally anything. Whether that's what the best Sonic formula is, what the best games are, and I mean, heck, I'm not immune to this either. One of the more common opinions is that Sonic 3 & Knuckles, Sonic Adventure 2, and Sonic Generations are the highlights of the series, which I fully disagree with. In fact, I think all the predecessors to these games are better. Sonic 2, Sonic Adventure 1, and Sonic Colors I just find more fun. So yeah, we literally can't agree on anything, like, ever. But I do believe that one of the biggest disagreements that I would like to discuss today is would you rather play a bad game or a mediocre game? And so today I would like to explain both sides of this argument and what I personally agree with and which one I lean more towards. So let's get on into it. First up, let's discuss a bad game. Most of these games are completely broken messes, have tons of technical problems, visual problems, all the above. But sometimes you can take advantage of that fact and absolutely break the game, and it can be pretty fun. Two great examples is the gyms in Sonic 06 or the Sonic Superstars multiplayer, because that junk is ridiculous. <laughs> A lot of these games also feature really cringe moments and just stuff that it's just like, ah. Okay. And sometimes that can be a good thing or a bad thing. It could be so cringe that you could kind of laugh at it, or it could be so cringe that you just like actually cringe. There isn't an upside to it. So really the best way to put it is that it's so bad that it's kind of good. But usually that's only true when you're breaking the game. If you're playing the game normally, you're not going to have any fun at all because the game is bad. Please keep that in mind. I know bringing up 06 is just beating a dead horse, but it really is a good example of that. The gameplay, when you play it normally, isn't fun. If you take advantage of the broken, garbage, like terribly designed mechanics, you can get some fun out of it. But like I've been saying, you only really get that feeling when you're actually breaking the game. You're not playing it intentionally. You're not playing it the way that it's meant to be played. Then there's a game that's mediocre. The gameplay in these games is usually just all right. I mean, it's mediocre, middle of the road. It's not really good isn't really bad either. Typically, these types of games aren't really broken or really glitchy either. They're usually just super middle of the road. Like I've been saying, it's just, it just kind of exists. So now that I've said that quickly, let's bring it back to the original question. Would you rather play a bad game or a mediocre game? Or let me rephrase that. Would you rather play a game that is so bad that it can be good? Or would you rather play just a nothing burger? And while I can understand both arguments, I totally lean on the side of a nothing burger, which is kind of a controversial opinion, which I do understand, but I would rather play a game that's just all right. It's not offensively bad, it's just all right. There is some fun to be had just playing it normally, just playing through an all right game. I can't really be too upset at it, but a game that is bad can be infuriating, rage inducing almost. And heck, even a lot of the games that I like in this franchise have a lot of nothing burger moments. In fact, Colors is my second favorite Sonic game, and it has a lot of nothing burger levels, but I don't mind that because it's a nothing burger. For some reason, an alright experience is now being antagonized. It's seen as a bad thing. Now, of course, it is actually a bad thing. I don't want more mediocrity, but I also don't want bad games. So, <laughs> I would like good games. But it seems like people would just rather play a game that has the potential to be aggravating, infuriating, and just terribly designed than a game that's just purely okay throughout its whole run. And it's gotten to such a degree that saying that 06 is worse than Sonic Forces has now become a hot take. This is embarrassing, I'm sorry. It's Sonic 06. I mean, I feel like these people haven't played this game. And honestly, I hate to throw shade, but I really do believe PO6 has kind of stained some of this discussion. Not to discredit PO6 or anything, it looks absolutely amazing, but man, how much did PO6 really keep from the original 06? Not a whole lot, because the original 06 was garbage. What PO6 really does is just take Sonic 06 as a blueprint 
and completely remake the control from the ground up. So, if you want to make Sonic 06 fun, you basically have to change everything about the gameplay. Yeah, so Sonic 06 sucks. I hope we can come to that conclusion here. So that's my point. 06 may have had potential, but its potential is really just Sonic Adventure 1. But for some reason, there seems to be this idea of, I would rather have a game that has potential than a game that just isn't that good. Which, while I can sympathize with that at the end of the day, the way my brain sees it is, would I rather play a 4 out of 10, or would I rather play a 5 or a 6 out of 10? Well, I'm gonna play the game that's better. <laughs> I feel like why it, that's become controversial for some odd reason. And so, that about wraps it up for this video. I have always been on the side of just a nothing burger because it's inoffensive. I really can't be upset about it, which is why I like it more than a game that actively makes me upset or frustrated. If you think I'm not making any sense whatsoever, please let me know, because I'm genuinely curious why. So yeah, I'm not gonna yabber on any longer. I hope all of you have a great day. God bless.